Hi, my name is Kate McLean and I'm going to be talking about the art of technology today. Technology has been really important during this whole coronavirus situation because it's helped to bring the world together. And now we have an easy way to communicate about everything going on and how to find that cure. But a few of the things that I've been doing this communication for technology have not been so helpful. As you can see right here, I've spent a lot of time watching Vampire Diaries and on TikTok. But technology has been very helpful. There's two tweets right here, one by John Murdoch and one by Mike DeWine that show some stats about coronavirus. So technology has been really helpful right now with bringing people together and telling them information. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen a few of these videos. This is one of those cases where the, the more I learn about coronavirus, the less concerned I am. There's a lot of hyperbole. The national left-wing media playing up fears of the coronavirus. The sky is falling because we have a few dozen cases of coronavirus on a cruise ship. I am far more concerned with stepping on a used heroin needle than I am getting the coronavirus, but maybe that's just me. It's a virus like the flu. All the talk about coronavirus being so much more deadly doesn't reflect reality. This virus should be compared to the flu because at worst, at worst, worst case scenario, it could be the flu. The far more deadly, more lethal threat. So you guys are probably wondering how everything I've just showed you relates to art and I wanted to answer the question, what is art? So my first thought was that art is just like an image or a picture, something you might see at a museum. But from this presentation, I've learned that art goes so much further than that. And I wanted to start off by showing you guys this picture. So in this picture, someone's phone is in their chest. And this just shows how much technology is becoming a part of us and how powerful it's becoming. And I just wanted to show you guys that an image is a lot more than what just meets the eye. So I read Own on a Grecian Urn by John Keats. And in the poem, he says, when old age shall this generation waste, thou shalt remain in midst of other woe. And in this poem, the speaker is looking at a picture of an urn and reflecting on how it makes them feel. And when the speaker looks at this picture of the urn, he's thinking about how even though he won't live forever, this picture of the urn will. And I thought that this related perfectly to the picture that I just showed with the phone in the chest. Because even though we won't live forever, the stuff on, this te on technology and in our phones will. So if I had to sum up what is art in one sentence, I would say that it's something that makes you change the way that you think or feel about something. So now that we know what art is, how do we know what the artist's role in society is? So I read a poem, Singapore, by Mary Oliver, and she wrote, Neither do I mean anything miraculous, but only the light can shine out of a life. And her po in her poem, she tried to show the good, even though it was in a bad situation. And I think that her role was to try and make a positive outlook on something that's gone bad and to try to make society look at the better things. And I think that this relates to technology because usually when you think of technology, you think of something bad, but there's also positives that come out of technology. And that's what I looked at when I saw this quote. It's a poem and it's called Life Without Technology. And it says, a home is just a button we press to escape the mess of a multitasking establishment. And I thought that this line was really powerful. Personally, I've been told I have a phone addiction by like hundreds of people, especially my parents. So this really hit hard for me. It made a big impact because they're saying that a home is just a button on our phone and not just something we live in now. And I thought that this quote was perfect for the artist's role in society because it shows how powerful of an impact an artist can make. Along with how an artist can make a powerful impact on our lives, I wanted to answer the question, how can we effectively utilize art in our lives? And I read the poem Videotape and it's about a girl who films a video of someone getting killed that went viral. And it says, they show it because it exists, because they have to show it, because this is why they're out there, to provide our entertainment. And I thought that this poem really hit hard because this girl literally took a video of someone getting killed and it went viral for everyone's entertainment. And I think that this relates to technology because it shows that we need to be using it better. And that's how we can effectively use art to better our lives. So I wanted to end my presentation by saying how art has effectively helped me in my life. The poem Piano by D.H. Lawrence really helped me through this presentation to realize something about my life. So it says, In spite of myself, the insidious mastery of song betrays me back till the heart of me weeps to belong. And in this poem, the author continuously thinks that he's going to have time to do the things that he wants to do. But by the end of the poem, he realizes that he ran out of time and he's super upset about it. And this poem really helped me because I've realized that 
I really need to spend less time on technology and on my phone because I'm missing a lot of important things in life. So that was my full video and I just wanted to show my whole prom dress and fancy heels, of course. Thanks for watching.